Tara. All right, every time I'm like, whoa. Let me also screen share because I did make slides tonight. Y'all should be so proud. Sometimes I make slides, sometimes I don't. It's a whole thing. All right. Look, I'm even gonna play them on the on the player. Uh, Amanda, can you see the slides? Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. So welcome to the Team Nourish team call, you guys. I'm so glad that everybody is able to get on. It is August the 19th and we are rolling right along this month, aren't we? So a couple of recognition points before we really get started. Um, this is, if I can move my thing, there we go. Our weekly top five. So every week we love to shout out all the victories, all the excitement, all, all the fun for our team. And the weekly top five, just in case you don't know what it is made up of, it is new coaches, coaches that are um, enrolling people, are you know adding team members to the team adding boot campers to the boot camp they are working to create this community and so congratulations to our top coach michelle king this week michelle this might i don't know is this your first week in the top five i think it might be but or not the top five but in the number one spot uh congratulations jamie runner is in at number two carrie summers at number three renee coth at number four and then our new coach linda mcnamara is at number five so congratulations ladies I love seeing your pictures up there. I love just watching this team grow and grow and grow. So uh, Success Club, we always um, recognize Success Club because that is the measure that Beachbody has set for us, the measurement tool that Beachbody has given to us to measure success in this business. And what does success mean? I feel like we like can chant this at this point. Success means we're changing lives. Success means we're helping connect people to tools that will help them live a more whole and nourished life. And so um, your minimum goal is typically success club six or success club five or more. That's where you start get, getting prizes. You start getting extra recognition. If you're a new coach, you start um, earning what's called success starters, which is how you get to summit for free. That's how you get to be in a test group. Um, all kinds of really fun stuff for that. And then you also, if you are Emerald and above, which means you have two coaches on your team, but uh, Emerald or above, and Success Club 5 gets free Beachbody leads, which means when Susie down the street is on her computer late at night and she sees an advertisement for Beachbody On Demand free and she's like, oh, I'll get on there and see what's on there for free and she signs up. Those people have a coach. They might not know it, but they have a coach. And so if you're Emerald and above and Success Club 5, you get to be in that leads wheel. You get the opportunity to get free clients that you didn't have to work for. If you are Success Club 10 or more, which means you've helped five people in the month or more and are Emerald and above, you also get what's called paid leads. So paid leads are when Susie Q down the road hops on and she's like, yeah, I think I'm going to try that Shakeology. Hmm, and that collagen looks good too. You also get the commission for that sale. So Again, if Beachbody is giving away free clients and free commissions, sign me up. I am always down for helping as many people as humanly possible feel as good as we feel tonight. So um, congratulations to myself is at SC10 for the month so far. Um, con congratulations to Carrie Summers at SC4. And then those of you on the board, Jesse Hancock at SC2, Katie Crowther at SC2, Christopher King at SC2, Emma Shaw at SC2, Amanda Harold at SC2. And these numbers were pulled yesterday, I think. And so I think the board is a little bit different maybe because um, I think Michelle King, you have some points and um, Katie Crowther might have extra points too. So anyways, congratulations, ladies. Uh, every single life that we impact needs to be celebrated on this team. I absolutely love being able to help people. So, and I know your vibe attracts your tribe. So I know if that's my passion and my heart, I also know that that's y'all's passion and y'all's heart. Um, couple of quick new coach must knows just to run them down. I know we do this every week, but I always want to keep it fresh in your mind. And I really think it should just be called coach must knows, not necessarily new coach must knows, but just remind, just remember our core mission is to help people achieve their goals and live and enjoy, uh, and enjoy a healthy, fulfilling life. Um, how do, how do you be a coach? How do you be a good coach? You start your beach body challenge. You take your photos. You take your before photos. You print your meal plan. You do the workouts. You own your results like a boss. And then you're going to practice the vital behaviors, which is be proof the product works. So that's 
After you've printed the meal plan, it doesn't just sit on your kitchen counter. You actually eat the food. After you print your workouts or you log into Beachbody On Demand, you actually do the workouts. You don't just let them sit there. So be proof the product works. Connect, invite, and follow up. The majority of our calls, we talk a lot about that tonight, is going to be a product training call. Um, we try to do those once a month. And then vital number three is help people get results. So again, you're sharing, you're sharing your results. They're getting their results. And don't forget. And, and I try to reinforce this all the time because I, I had a conversation that was really telling with one of the coaches on our team one time. And she was like, well, I don't have a team to celebrate results. I haven't enrolled anybody yet, or I've, maybe I've enrolled someone, but they haven't shared their results with me. Guys, we have an entire boot camp, an entire team available to you. We are all one team one team with one goal, which is to help people enjoy healthy, fulfilling lives. So maybe you don't, you haven't enrolled anybody yet. So what? You have a whole list of women right here on this call that are getting results every single day that you can shout them out. You can tag them in your Instagram. You can shout them out as your team because we are your team. Um, and then vital number four is personal development. And what does that mean? Our workouts, our food. Yes, those are more external, visible, visible results personal development is internal results. So that's typically podcasts, books, I don't know, therapy sessions, like whatever you want to count as personal development, but you need to be doing it daily. You need to be pouring the good stuff in every single day. I always remember the, um, the analogy by Dave Ramsey. So if you've ever taken any of Dave Ramsey's financial literacy classes, he, I think he tells this story in that, I think this is where I heard it, but he talks about his wife and how she drinks this nasty green smoothie every single day. And so after it's all sucked dry, he's like, it's all caked around the cup. Right. And he's like, so she turns on the water and then she just walks away, which he's like, yeah, that might be wasting water. But the illustration is as when the water first goes in the cup and say she just fills up the cup, it's going to be nasty and green and chunky still. But if you let all the good run in and run in and run in and run in at some point, it's going to be all clear. And that's the purpose of personal development. It's to continue to pour the good, the all of the positive, the uplifting, the encouraging, the learning, the literacy about yourself and your body and your heart and your soul and your mind, pouring all that in so that when you begin to pour out, it's the good stuff too. So a um, couple of other things, hit SC6. So that is our minimum goal for everybody. We talked about that with Success Club. I want to help you help three people. Um, that is my goal for all of my coaches at minimum. And then if you want to do the coach training, if you haven't ever done it before, we do have new coach university set up on our team. And then we also have the good vibe tribe training website that was created and you can screenshot this and it will take you straight there. Okay. So let's, Oh, one last little announcement. We didn't really have any big beach body announcements right now, other than the fact that I think it's tonight, there is going to be maintenance on the back office. So if you need to get into the back office tonight and you're having trouble or it's glitchy looking, take a pill, chill out, it'll be fixed. Um, but they are doing maintenance, but we also have our team nourish, uh, fit shop. And so if you ever want any team nourished, apparel. There's really cute stuff in there. So it's uh, the fitteamshop.com slash team nourish. And it has all kinds of cute little things. Um, and you also get rank advancement gifts from the shop when you rank advance. So just so you know. All right. So tonight, let me check the chat before we move on. <laughs> Paige, you said you can say it with me. It actually, you're not the only one though. Um, Paige was talking about me saying that, um, she doesn't have a team to share results from. You're not the only one. I hear that from new coaches all the time. They're like, what do you mean recognize? Like, I don't have anybody to recognize. I'm like, girlfriend, you got a whole boot camp of people you can recognize. Um, so you are not alone. Go, Michelle. Are you wearing the same shirt? I don't know about that. I bet Michelle is adorable because she always has cute clothes. So tonight's product training is on the three-day refresh. And so I love this cute little graphic because um, if you hang out on Instagram very long, you know that cleanses are fun. I went to the beach with a friend of mine. I don't know. I think it was last week or something. And she was telling me about her um, colon cleanse she was taking. And I was like, oh God, do you know my name? Do you know who I am? Do you know what I do? Like, how are you going to sit here and tell me you're taking pills and drinks to crap your pants and you think I'm going to be like, good job. 
Like, you don't know me very well at all, friend. Like, I was so sad for her um, because I know that feeling, right? Like, I know the feeling of being desperate and wanting to have something change or not feeling good in your gut health and seeing a random ad on Instagram or TV or something that's like, drink these juices and your colon will be cleansed. And okay, cool. Well, A, I don't want to sit in the bathroom for hours and hours on end. Maybe you do, but I got things to do in my life. I also like to eat food. Like it's just a thing. I'm kind of, kind of into it. Um, And then the other thing is those results don't last. They do not last. And from a scientific or biological perspective, it dramatically messes up your gut health when you do a cleanse like that. You really, really screw up your gut health, your digestive system when you go into cleansing in that way. So as much as I am really, really, really not a fan of cleanses, three-day refresh and ultimate reset, which we've done a team, a product training call on the ultimate reset. So you can go onto our YouTube channel for the team and view that if you want to get a refresher on that. But, um, those two, I think are the best ones I've ever read about or experienced in my life. I haven't done a lot, um, outside of this because I was like super leery of all of them, like would not touch them with a 10 foot pole. Um, and so, the three-day refresh is a three-day version. The ultimate ref- the ultimate reset, I wish they would rename them because I say the wrong names every time. The ultimate reset is a 21-day cleanse. And actually, Kristen, who is on the call tonight, is, what are you, your week two. So week two, day three, day four, something like that. Yeah. Day four. So she is rocking that out. And I know there's so many good benefits to the ultimate reset. I really highly, highly recommend it, um, for a 21 day cleanse. But I also know real talk here, not everybody can swing a 21 day cleanse, right? Like, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's just not your thing. Maybe you're too scared to do it, to be honest. And that is totally okay too. The three day refresh is a really, really wonderful way to reset your body. So I wanted to kind of talk about who can benefit from the three day refresh. Um, And this is just from Beachbody's um, back office stuff. So just know you have, um, you have access to this as well, but people who want to lose weight fast. And we're going to kind of circle back to this because you guys know me and you know my heart, and this is not where my heart is in weight loss at all, but it is a selling point of this. Um, I also like that it explains the three-day refresh calorie set, which is around 900 calories a day. You guys know that I am not a fan of calorie deprivation. I do not think it is good. I do not think it is sustainable, but here's the deal. For three days, 900 calories is not going to kill you. And you are getting a full nutritional profile with the three-day refresh. And so, and we're going to talk about some modifications and all kinds of stuff with the three-day refresh as well, but it is a low calorie program. Like I said, it is only three days and it comes with a maintenance guide. So you're not just going to like pop all the weight right back on what I think is a, and okay, you you guys can read y'all are literate. So I'm not going to sit here and read all these where I think the real like selling point, what I think the most beneficial thing of the three day refresh is people who need to kickstart a healthy, um, lifestyle, healthy weight loss regimen, a healthy, you know, eating habits. I think this is a really good way to do it. People, I I hate this one right here, but, and anyone who's fallen off the wagon, been bad with their eating, you guys know how I hate that kind of crap, but I left it in here because again, post vacation is my favorite time to do this. Either people who have, um, needed a kickstart and post vacation, when you have eaten off plan, when you have really not stayed dialed in for a, for a while, and you know, the path you need to be on, you just need a little butt to kick in the butt to get back there after vacation, you need to get rid of some bloat, that kind of thing. This is a really, really great option. And then, um, people who want to have, don't shoot. There we go people who want extra energy and things like that. And we're going to talk a little bit about some stuff with three-day refresh. Um, And then it says at the bottom here, anyone who's getting ready for an event trip, et cetera, um, 
it does, it is a quick little three day thing. So a couple of things so that you understand when either you do it or you have someone who this would be a really good benefit for them. And you, maybe you haven't ever done it. And you don't know what comes with it. I want to give you a rundown of what comes with it. So it comes with, if you can get it either with Shakeology included or you can get it with Shakeology not included. Um, when I buy it for, I mean, for example, when I buy it, I buy it without Shakeology because I have a 30 day bag of Shakeology. I don't need extra packets. Sometimes I wanna get extra packets just to have laying around. I do get them. You will only get it with the vegan packets. You cannot get it with whey packets. So if you are a whey Shakeology person, you, you'll need to do it with um, the V, you'll have to get the packets because the um, cleanse is a vegan cleanse. So I'm not going to run down everything that's wonderful about Shakeology. You know what it is. Um, fiber Sweep. So the other two supplements that come with it are Fiber Sweep and Vanilla Fresh. So Fiber it and the, the best part about this cleanse, the thing that I love almost more than anything about it is that, and I looked for my book, but it's, it's a little book. It's um, horizontal like this and it, it flips open, but I couldn't find it on the way up here to the call. I only found the maintenance guide for some reason, but it has a fill in the blank. So it literally says day one breakfast and it tells you what to eat. And then you fill in the blank day one snack, you know, tells you exactly what to do day one lunch. It says, pick something from this list and pick something from this list. Have um, one vanilla fresh. So it literally walks you through step by step by step. The, the nice thing about it is you aren't having to figure out what you should be having or like, oh, I don't know if that fits into this. You literally just eat what it tells you to eat. But it also is nice because it gives you some options. So it will give you the list of fruits so that you know what, you know, not that you need a list of fruits, but um, gives you a list of veggies. And then for dinner every night, it has recipe options. So you can just pick one of the recipes. They are all vegan based. They're just super easy, clean recipes. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of walk through some stuff for you guys too. And again, all of this is just so that you understand what's in our library of things that we can help people with in our, in our toolbox, right? So every day you drink a fiber sweep because this is a lower carb um, three days. You do need carbs, actually. It's like a whole thing in your life. Um, and you really do need fiber in order to clean out. Like I said, and I'll continue to repeat it, Fiber sweep does not equal go sit in the bath. It should not equal. I mean, I don't know about your gut health, but it should not be equaling sitting in the bathroom for hours at a time. It never has for me. I've done the three-day refresh. I mean, I've been a coach seven years. I've probably done it, I don't know, six or seven times maybe. Like, I don't know, five, six, seven times. I just did it back in the spring sometime. I can't remember when. But um, like I said, it. It's an easy little three day, but it does have eight grams of soluble and insoluble fiber. Um, and it does help um, eliminate waste from your digestive system. But again, it is not, there's no part of this that is go sit in the bathroom. And then vanilla fresh, you drink two vanilla freshes during the day. You drink a lunchtime one and a dinner time one. And I already know the questions. So I'll check in with the chat when we're done here, but Essentially, vanilla fresh is would be like vegan recover. So it is a plant based protein. It is literally protein and then um, all natural or not all natural, but whole food based vitamins and minerals. So and it also has some probiotics. So it's like a mixture between vanilla shakeology, like vegan vanilla shakeology and vanilla recover. So anyways, those are your animal or plant-based proteins for the day. So like I said, at lunch and at dinner, you also get a snack in the afternoon with the three-day refresh. Okay. And then before we go into like tips, tricks, and all the things, I wanted to invite you guys. We are starting, let me double check the date just so that I don't give you the wrong date. Um, 
September 7th. So I know Linda, who is, like I said, new on our team, she is going to be doing this when she gets all of her kit, but we have a team wide one. So if it's something you're interested in doing, or you want to put out on your social media that you're going to be doing, or our team is going to be doing, um, you are welcome to, and, and you, maybe you need something to invite to, you are welcome to invite to this. So we are hosting a Facebook group. It's called Keep Calm and Cleanse On. So if you type that in, um, it should come up, just request to join. Um, I'm one of the admins of the group. So me, Cece, and Jen will be um, approving everybody. And then, it, and like I said, we are all planning on starting the day after Labor Day. But if that doesn't work for your schedule, don't be like, oh, darn, I can't do it. Like, you can still do it. There will be people starting before that. There will be people starting after that. But that is when we will have scheduled posts go up so that you have some extra, you know, encouragement and stuff like that. So that is for our entire team. Like I said, feel free to invite to it. Feel free to do it with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the other thing, I think this is the end of my slides. Yeah, let me just stop share and then we'll kind of chit chat about um, some modifications and going through it just so you have some ideas as you want to do it. Um, so what was I going to say? I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, three-day refresh yoga. So you can also do on Beachbody On Demand, there is three-day refresh yoga that they have put up there and it's literally meant for you to like do it along. I'm going to give you like my, what do I want to call it? My like rundown of how I've done it several times. Like I said, I've probably done it. I mean, let's just average it out at seven times, six times, something like that. Every time has been different. Every single time um, I have done it and I have felt, and I, when I say a million bucks, I mean like, and y'all know me, I am not a big runner at all. I mean, like I get up and I'm like, Oh, marathon. Like I'm running a freaking marathon today. I am out of here. And I like feel amazing. And I've also done it where I have laid on the couch and wanted to murder people. So it really volleys. And you guys know that I will never, I'll never bullshit you. I'm never going to like, I promise I will never sugarcoat stuff. I've done it, but I've done it at different times and gotten very different feelings. I've always got the same results. I always lose between four and six pounds every single time. It is 99% water weight, but guys, water weight is still, you're still carrying it around day to day to day. So it, it, you, if you feel bloated, if you feel stomach discomfort, that kind of stuff, the three day refresh is really, really helpful for that. Um, and so kind of to run down a couple of the things I want to, and then I'm going to open it up to you guys for questions and open it up for, I know many of you have done it. Amanda Harold, I know you've done it several times. Um, Carrie's not on here. I was going to say, I know she's done it, but um, so just to kind of run down, like I said, the first, your breakfast is going to be your Shaco. And that's really, they encourage you to do Shaco with water, you know, all of that. Here's a secret. I do my Shaco however I want to. I just don't put peanut butter and all the junk in it. I just make my shako how I normally make it, just have it for breakfast. Um, and then fiber sweep is like mid morning and then lunchtime. So lunchtime and your afternoon snack are a healthy fat, a fruit. Well, okay, lunchtime is a healthy fat, a fruit, vanilla fresh and veggies. So it's pretty, it's very basic. It's kind of nice if, you, if you're in, a season, Renee, I see you nodding, but I know you've done the three-day refresh too. Um, it's kind of nice when you feel burnt out of making choices and you're just like, I swear, if I have to come up with another thing, like it's kind of nice because you don't have to come up with another thing. You're literally like, great. Cucumbers, hummus, and strawberries, easy peasy. Um, but it does give you some suggestions in there. And the thing that I always tell people is at lunchtime and at your, um, what do you call it? Your afternoon snack, it will give you a suggestion for veggies for like, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever, a cup of this or a half a cup of this for the love of God, sis, like eat how many ever damn vegetables you want. Like it does not matter. Nobody, it's not going to ruin the cleanse or I'm not doing it the way it's written. If you have 
13 baby carrots and it told you to have 10. Like if you're hungry, eat. The point of this is not to starve yourself. So eat more of the veggies. If you need a little bit extra fruit, eat more of the fruit. The thing that you need to be very conscious of in the cleanse for the three days is the vanilla fresh. And I'm going to give you some tips on drinking that. Oh, and I'll give you some tips on fiber sweet too. Um, the vanilla fresh, I do not, and everybody is different. Like I said, when I stop jabber in my mouth, I'll let the other girls talk too, but, um, I don't like it blended with fruit at all. I, I don't know what it does to it, but I do not like it. I really, really, really love it blended with lemon or lime juice and ice. It tastes like limeade to me. I also really, really, really love it with cinnamon for whatever reason, cinnamon, ice, the vanilla fresh and water is so good. Or even just shaken in a shaker cup. Like it is so, so good. Um, the digestive health or no, what am I talking about? Fiber sweep. Sorry. The fiber sweep is, um, Kristen, you're doing the ultimate reset. And so, you know, about the detox drink. And I think, um, Kalina's not on the call tonight, but Kalina just did the three day refresh and she texted me, Oh my God, how do I drink the fiber sweep? And it's kind of like the detox drink. And I was like, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to chug it. Cause you all, well, I don't know about you all. Maybe you all are completely different than me, but I took way worse shots in college, like way worse. I once took a shot that you like took the shot and then they had like coffee grounds and some kind of junk and on a plate and you had to drink that too. It was disgusting. But like I did that. So there is no reason why I cannot drink a fiber drink. Okay. Like just slam it back. I usually drink it in like four to six ounces of cold cold water. And I do not, I like, thank you, Megan, for laughing at me. I feel like, you know, what's up. Um, and I do not let it sit because here's the thing about fiber. And that goes for the detox in ultimate reset that goes for, um, fiber sweep, whatever it fluffs. The point of fiber is to go. So if you sit it in a cup, it's going to go. And you don't want to drink that. You just want to slam it back before it goes poof. So it goes poof in your belly and it makes you feel full. Um, you, it's, that sounds very dramatic. It does not go poof. I'm just saying it gets thick and you don't want to drink thickness. Or at least I don't. Um, so that's my like easy peasy tip for that is just, you know, that much water, very cold, drink it back chase it with water if you need to, whatever you got to do. Um, and then the other, the last thing I wanted to say about it is the dinner recipe. So I think it comes with like, I don't know, six or eight dinner recipes. They're all veggie based. It's going to basically be a, a veggie and a healthy fat. And then you drink your um, vanilla fresh with it for your protein. And there are some recipes. And again, this is all personal preference. Everybody likes different things. Um, but there are recipes in that, that I'm like, that's stupid. Like I'm not eating that amount. Like I'm not just going to have some asparagus with some almonds sprinkled on top. Like maybe that's cool for you, but that is not cool for me. I'm a volumetric eater. I enjoy my plate to look full. I don't like to see like go into a French restaurant and they got like two sprigs. I'm like, no, 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 no. Where's the rest of my dinner? Um, so some of the recipes that I really like in that are the cucumber tomato salad, really, really good. The spinach salad is really good. There's a carrot medley thing in there that's really good. And then my standard go-to is the um, coconut steamed veggies. And so if you, my other like little, like, I don't know, sneaky cheater trick with this is I go to Costco and I buy a big bag of the um, stir fry veggies, like just the plain ones, not ones with sauce or like salt or anything on them. They're just plain stir fry veggies. And I just use that. So I didn't even have to cut anything up. It's like super quick and easy. Um, and so I do that with coconut oil and that's a really, and I don't, again, I'm not going to use like one cup of them. Like again, having two cups of veggies is not going to ruin your cleanse results. So I think that's all I have to say about it. We made it through everything I wanted to say without Matt texting me. So yay, thank you, Amanda, for being on call, for willing to like just step in at a moment's notice. You are the best. Um, so I mean, actually, do you want to take yourself off mute and kind of talk about your three-day refresh experiences? Sure. Hopefully it's not too loud in here. Um, 
The very first time I did the refresh was because I got kind of stuck in that plateau of not being able to <clears throat> lose those last few pounds. And so it helped me get over that plateau. Um, the first time I had lots of energy, I was excited about all the energy that I had. And then it's just a good way to reset, like you said, reset from eating like crap, um, and get back on track. So it's a fun, and it's only three days. I feel like it's doable. I have a busy schedule. We have kids. So it was doable for us to do. I mean, I didn't feed what I was eating to them, just add like a protein or something to the veggies for them, but um, it's easy to do. Yeah. No, that's really a good, I get that question a lot from people. It's like, well, I still have to make dinner for my kids and my husband. Like, I'm not going to make two dinners. I mean, you guys know, most of you have been with me for a long time. You will never hear me say like, oh yeah, you should make your food and then make your food. No, we don't do that here. Um, so what I typically do is make double of whatever I'm going to make for me. So if I'm doing stir fry veggies, I just make a big pot of stir fry veggies and then that's their side dish. And like you said, just add some kind of protein to their stuff and it makes it really easy. Um, Renee, are you still on? Are you in a place where you can unmute? Because I know you've done the three-day refresh too. Did you want to talk about it, your experience? Okay, maybe not. Paige, are you in a place where you can unmute? Do you want to? Because I know you've done it too. Yeah, I can. Just oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know if you were at work or what. No, I got back. I'm moving stuff. So, um, yeah, so I think I, I'd done the refresh three times or no twice. Um, and I really enjoyed how it wasn't like super extreme. Like you were saying, it's really easy to, um, it was kind of easy to like go into, it wasn't like a shock, you know, cause I was still eating as many vegetables as I wanted, um, and then everything else was basically substituting my protein with the vanilla fresh. And I really like that. Um, I'm trying to think, I really like the recipes in it. Mm -hmm. They're really easy, but like really good. And I still make them Same. even when I'm not on the cleanse. So that was kind of cool to have those as like an extra thing. And I keep the little cookbook around for like maintenance stuff even. So, mm -hmm. um, I think I lost like. I think it was like about five pounds as well while I was on the refresh. And then I think I kept at least two of those off for longer term. So it's not like it was um, like, I wasn't like yo-yoing with it, which felt good. Yeah. And it was just a good way to, um, I was starting back on like a more, like more closely following uh, ultimate portion fix. And so that was a good way to like get into that and like be in that mindset of, following a plan like that. Yeah. So. Well, and the nice thing too, thank you for reminding me, it does come with the maintenance guide. And so that what you're talking about, like, cause that's always my like hesitancy with anything. I'm like, great. I'm glad you can do a colon cleanse and drop 15 pounds in six days. But like, you do understand when you eat correctly again, all of that plus more comes back. And like you said, that's not really the case with this, especially if you are using it as it's meant to be used, which is a catalyst into a healthier lifestyle. And that's, you know, everything we do in our groups, what, you know, the meal plans that I put out, what comes out in the maintenance guide. I mean, that's all going to be whole food based living. So it's just a nice little butt kick into that. Renee, are you, did you want to say something about the three-day refresh? Sure. Sorry. For some reason, I lost my video, so I didn't know if you could That's see okay. me or not, but I couldn't unhit the mute button. Anyways, it's a thing. Um, so there's a couple of things that I wanted to share about the refresh. I also, um, with the fiber sweep, I added lemon to that because okay. I thought that squeezing the lemon in made it a little bit more doable. Mm -hmm. I'm also opposite of Danielle in the fact that I liked it like not hot water, but warmer water. And then I would squeeze in a lemon, but I still took it like a shot because it, because it, the warm water, especially makes it fluff faster. Like she was talking about. So it's not as smooth with cold, but I thought it, I could get it down easier with warm. And then I squeezed like the lemon into it. So that would be something. I think that the vanilla fresh is delicious. 
-hmm. I think it's super good on ice. So sometimes I would put it on ice and then I would just let it sit so it could get cold and then I would drink it. So I thought that was really good. The other tip, I think it mentions in the guide too, that you can use, or you can drink like vegetable broth with your meal at night. So you can do the, I think like the, the veggies and then the refresh. And then I also did the vegetable broth with it just because sometimes I would put my veggies in it to make it kind of like a soup. And sometimes I would just drink the broth separately just because I felt like it, it made me, it just made me feel like I was getting more, I guess, even though I was just kind of probably getting like water, you know, (laughs) but it just was something different that I would have with it. So I think it just made me feel like it was more, I guess. That's the only way I can explain it today. Um, I also would be happy to share my results with anybody. Mm -hmm. My face got like crazy different. I have really inflamed and a lot of redness around my cheekbones and my nose. And I have um, acne. And every time I do the three-day cleanse, it completely clears up. The one that I have like my best pictures from is actually a day two to a day three because I didn't take pictures before I started. And I realized after day one, that it was already a huge change in my face and like, just like the blotchiness and the redness. So for somebody who is experiencing that in their life, this would be a really good way for them to determine whether or not dairy affects them or certain levels of sugar affect you. Uh, Because I can tell you that I know it's dairy. I thought it was dairy, but I know now after doing it twice, it is for sure the amount of dairy I was consuming. Yeah. So. No, I love that you mentioned that like one of the benefits you saw had nothing to do with water or weight or anything like that. Like it's literally a, an inflammation issue. And I would totally agree. This is a very low inflammatory um, program. And so kind of the same thing with the ultimate reset. Um, I've found that the inflammation that people are carrying typically lessens, or you can start to pinpoint what it is that you are, um, what you are experiencing. Mara, have you done it? Did you want to talk about it real quick? I don't know if you're able to unmute. There you go. Yeah. Um, actually I did it. Um, and after speaking with you, Danielle, I discovered that, um, it was dairy and, probably gluten and sugar that were causing me so much pain in my body. Mm-hmm. Like by the time I wasn't having any more pain. I've been suffering from like joint pain and back pain for at least four years now, trying to figure out what was going on. And when I did the three day refresh by the second day, I noticed that I had no pain. Mm. Whoops. Did I lose you guys? No, you're here. Okay. Um, so and remember, Danielle, I thought that maybe eggs were doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, it is kind of partially eggs, too. Um, I have to eat the organic eggs that get fed the organic 100% vegetarian fed um, diet. If I eat like regular eggs, I start to feel that inflammation again. Interesting. Yeah. We cut dairy out. No yogurt, no cheese. Um, very minimal red meat. That was another trigger for me. Um, if I eat red meat, it's usually just bison. Yeah. And I'm just eating fish and chicken, fish and chicken, shrimp, tofu, lots of tofu. I discovered doing the ADD obsession that um, I did the vegan one and um, I had no pain at all. Yeah. So, so there's definitely some kind of animal product that you are highly triggered by that this is showing you that you know, it's, it's a really really good way. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that Mara. You're welcome. Uh, Yeah. Thank you so much. Does any, like I said, our team is going to be doing it, um, September the 7th. Um, and the reason why we're talking about this right now is a, because if you want to do it, you need to order it so that you can actually get it because you can't really do the three day refresh if you don't have the kit. Um, and then I wanted to give my Hawaii coaches ample time because it takes forever to get anything in Hawaii. So, um, 
if anybody is wanting to do it with us, please feel free. And like I said, you're welcome to invite your friends, your, you know, whoever you think would benefit from this. And if you have questions about like, how do I invite or how do I word this? I'm happy to share um, what I've done. But a lot of it, like you said, Renee, actually, if you will just put your results in our team page and the team nourished page, um, the coaches one for everybody, like if you're willing to share them and I'll see if I have some results of mine too. Like it's been a while since I've taken before and after photos from it, but um, I'm sure I have some somewhere, but if anybody else does too, if you want to put them in there, because that's a, another really good way to build that social proof, to remind people that, Hey, I'm not, I'm not a lone sailor out here. Like we actually have a team and we have a really good support network for you. So um, that is really, really good. All right, you guys. Can yes can we invite people into that group that are like not in the boot camp like yes. if they just wanted to order the refresh by the yes. by, by itself okay absolutely yeah that is a standalone so that is not a boot camp specific um thing i actually should have thanks i mean thank you for reminding me what i should have done on the slideshow too is um, i'll answer your question in just a second, Emma, is showing you guys the pricing guide. And I can't remember everything off the top of my head, but um, they do have a challenge pack for it. If you want, if they want to continue, it is 160 for the three-day refresh challenge pack. So that includes the three-day refresh and the bag of Shakeology. So it does not include um, Beachbody On Demand. And I'm not 100% positive, so don't quote me on this, but if you if they want to do a challenge pack and then add on the three-day refresh, it's almost always discounted, like 10% or 15% if you add it onto a challenge pack. But also if they enroll as a preferred customer or a coach, they are going to get 25% off of whatever other discount. So I mean, you can really get a, a really good deal. Emma asked, am I taking a couple days off of 645? No, I'm not. Um, I am going to continue on. I'll probably keep my veggie and fruit intake up a little bit. I'll probably bump up the portions just so that I'm not down in the 900 calorie range for it. And I will probably do it... Um, uh, what did I say? Tuesday. So yeah, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because I would not do it on a cardio day um, just because I feel like I need extra energy for cardio. But guys, the lifting for this program is not like I don't and maybe phase two is going to be completely different. I don't know yet, but I have not felt like deep. Nah, leave my, I see your face, Michelle. No, but I have not felt absolutely depleted in phase one. I have not, you're <laughs> not being encouraging. I'm just going I'm, to, what? <laughs> I'm just laughing because in my stories this morning, I literally recorded myself right after I worked out and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never grunted <laughs> so much in a workout. <laughs> not encouraging. Thanks so much. So we shall see, but my intention is to do it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of um, phase two. Yay. So you'll just have to follow along and be excited for watching me die. And I'm going to hope that it like is, I don't know, one of the, one of the, in the, in the rain, in the spectrum of emotions I have felt during it, I'm going to hope that my emotions are, I want to run a freaking marathon. <laughs> um, so. Oh gosh, I know, Jamie, if that's the case, I'm a little nervous too, but we can do hard things. We can do hard things. Um, all right, you guys, if, um, let's see, does anybody have it actually before any, before we do anything else, like any, anything else, because I'm going to forget, can we please take a boomerang? So if you don't have your, um, camera on, can you turn your camera on real quick? And we're going to take a quick look. Oh, hi, Emma. Hi, Megan. Pretty faces. I'm going to take a quick little boomerang um, and then we can just kind of chat. And if you need to pop off or whatever, because like I said, I'm pretty sure at any point Matt's going to um, text and say, hey, Paige, are you? At yeah, there you are. Hi, pretty faces. Look at all my ladies. OK, so just do your repetitive motion. And I just turned on boomerang. So whatever that repetitive motion is, just keep doing it. Three, two, one, go. Thank you. I'll tag you, ladies. Um, thank you guys for coming on the call tonight and next week, same time, same place. I don't know what the topic's going to be yet. So if you have an idea for a topic or something you're struggling with or want to talk about, text me and let me 
No. Um, does anybody have any other questions? Like, like I said, if you need to pop off, I totally understand. Um, but thank you guys for being on. What's up, Michelle? The link, the link for the Rise Up Planner. Oh, shoot. I told, I promised that to you, didn't I? I will do that right now so that I do not forget. Thank you. Um, yeah, if anybody else wants that link, raise your hand and I'll send it to you. That's the, um, there's two different versions, Michelle, I'm going to send you the link for all of it, but this is the planner that I use for work, life, business, all the things, but, um, kind of keeps my head on straight. Um, there's, like I said, Michelle, there's two versions. There's a spiral bound version, and then there's like a, a flat open book version as well. Um, so I can send that to whoever. Um, I need to go to Moira's website. Any other questions while I'm looking this up? How's everybody doing on there? Everything? 645 or Germans. How's your ultimate reset going, Kristen? You're almost done with week two. <laughs> um, I struggled this week. Yeah. Which is odd because it's the second week. The first week I had no problem. This week not a fan I'm, I'm tired of the prepping i'm tired of the the yeah. power greens i actually have no problems with the detox the detox is easy funny yeah i do like eight ounces of water i shake it consistently like doesn't bother me at all but the, the power greens no that's so funny and it's I don't know. Like I said, everybody, everybody's experience is different. Everybody's tastes and everything is different. So like the things that you can, oh yeah, Mara said, put it in your shako. That's, I tried, I've lost three shakes with that because I try, I put it in there and I still can't oh, do it. Oh, you it, hate it like, so much. Like it doesn't stay down. Like, oh, well, then stop yeah. drinking it. Like, I, oh, I did. I did. <laughs> I quit like three days ago. <laughs> yeah. Just, just push it off. To the side. It, that's so funny. Cause and like, the ultimate reset is what made me enjoy the power greens. I hated them before, but now I can like shake them up and chug them down. So whatever it is not like, again, it's kind of like the three day reset, right? You are not going to like ruin. It is not that big of a deal, but, um, obsessed with 645. Oh my God. I know. Oh my gosh. If you guys have not looked at Michelle King's, um, Facebook or Instagram today, go on and look at her stuff. Um, Michelle, for the people, can you put your, um, what you call it in there, your Instagram link in there so people yeah. can follow you, but, um, yeah, tell them about your results. Okay. Um, one sec. Oh. Um, So I always take my um, progress photos before every program. And I've noticed in the past that when I take the pictures of my backside that I can tell that my hips are out of alignment. And when I first noticed it, I was like, oh, I must've just been standing awkward or the angle of the camera wasn't just straight on. But then it was happening every time. I'm like, all right, my hips must really be out of alignment, but it's never bothered me. I don't have back problems. I don't have any other issues or pain anywhere. So I never really worried about it um and but the very like one of the very first workouts of 645 and while I was talking about imbalances and he mentioned mothers carrying their children on one side of their hips and I always carry both of my kids on my left side um or like when you drive and you lean to one side versus the other so I was like I guarantee that's when it started happening was after I had kids um, so I took my progress photo at the beginning of 645, and then I took my four week progress photo and I lined up the, the backsides of me and you can see that my hip alignment has improved like, like a lot. And I, I mean, I was blown away. That's even possible to do just from the stretching. I'm sure it's gotta be all the stretching that we're doing. Um, so, and I don't feel any different. Cause I never felt pain from it to begin with, at least not yet. Maybe I would have, you know, in a few years from now, who knows? Um, but it really is changing and correcting imbalances in your body. 
Yeah. So you guys know Jen Hines. She comes and speaks on our calls sometimes. She's like one of my best friends. She is a doctor of physical therapy. And she has said the same thing, Michelle. Like she is obsessed with this program from a physical therapy standpoint. She's like his correctiveness and his form, the stuff he has us doing, strengthening the, I was talking to another girl recently and I wish I could remember. So maybe Emma, you've done this. This is your second time around through the program. Cause if you guys didn't know, Emma got to be in the test group for it um, and did the entire program already once. But what is the inside of your core called like you know how there's like or maybe Mari you know since you're a trainer there's like the external like your abs and stuff but then he calls it something else and I cannot remember what it's called that like intercostal intercostal yes that's right yeah so his attention to intercostal muscles Jen was like, so Jen also, a lot of her team is made up of different physical therapists and whatever. Uh, one of her girls is a um, pelvic floor PT. We've had her come and speak on our calls before. And she was talking about different intercostal muscles during that and like diaphragm breathing and all of this. And he, if you, if you do the whole mobility and stretch days, he talks about diaphragm breathing in that and like realigning all of that. And it's really, really, really cool to see. Um, yes. Line the spine. That's what it is. Yeah. Bye Sheena. See you later friend. Um, so yeah, no, really. I am also super impressed, but now you've got me terrified for phase two. I, so the, besides, uh, besides in the 645, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of 45 minute long workout, mm -hmm. but I think that with that being said, I think he has so many good things to say in, in how he says it, I think is just engaging For and sure. that's really, really nice. And he's funny. I mean, like he's probably, I did, I wasn't as big of a fan of his during the prep and my attempt at the work, um, I was like, um, I don't really know if he's my favorite, but he is definitely grown on me. And I would say he's probably one of my favorite because he can make it lighthearted. He jokes around with his team. And then he is just really good about correcting and telling you form and how to do things. And I think that's a super important for people that are just starting out because mm -hmm. like I used to always direct people towards 21 day fix just because that's kind of like a good beginner program. But if you look at um, um, Amoya's versus Autumn's, his is probably the best one to start off with because he is so corrective and mm -hmm. telling you how to stand, how far apart your feet should be, where your arms should be, where you're squeezing, what you're holding in. It's so, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's very informative. I think it's very good. Yeah, no, and I totally agree. My only like, hold back for saying, and I would agree, like, I think you have to get to know your client and what they can do and what they can handle. Cause for, like you said, 45 minutes is a big chunk of time. And so some people, yep, they're ready to take on that, that chunk, but then there's also newer people who are not ready to take on that chunk and 45 is just too long. And my only like hold back on, yeah, Mara, the longer warm ups are money, man. Like they are so good. Um, but my only hold back is, like I said, the length of time and then because I don't know what phase two looks like yet, you know, I think phase one as an introduction, real nice phase two, it could be um, challenging, <laughs> to say the least. Yes. Very, very good. Um, and then bye, Amanda. Oh, she's already gone. The only other thing I was going to say is if you guys are, if you are a nutrition plus, or I don't know if they're like officially calling it a body member yet or not, but um, you do have access. Linda was just texting me privately about 630, which is the 30 minute version, but that version is not available for everyone. It's only for people who have nutrition plus access or um, body, whatever it's called now, the body access. So um, yes, that, and that is really good. I actually did a couple of those and I, I like it a lot, but I, and Megan was saying in the chat, like the, um, it goes by fast. I would totally agree. The only one that does not go by fast for me is the stretch and mobility. But you know, the way that I have combated that for me is, um, I listen to a podcast 
And so I have my headphones in and I listen to a podcast while I'm doing it. And so I feel like that helps me from getting, cause, and that's just me in general. Like I, I get squirrely brained and I'm like, and I want to do all kinds of things. And he wants me to sit there for 45 seconds to a minute. And I'm like, but I could be doing other things. So a podcast allows me to multitask, which is probably terrible, but it is what I do. So. All right, ladies, well, we made it through the whole call without Matt. Oh, just kidding. Oh, no. It's going to be a while, he says. I know. And he made me nervous because he was like, um, here, I'm going to stop the recording.